I'm literally back in my bed because my cramps just not a vibe. I think what I'm gonna do is do some journaling. If I'm gonna be in bed, might as well do something productive in bed. I'm so tired. Look at it, I got this recently. Isn't she so cute? I got her on Amazon. I have an Amazon. Oh, I have an Amazon storefront. Anyways, I literally just feel like I don't know. I <laughs> yeah, I do it for yourself journal and my five minute journal. I typically don't do these journals at like 1 p.m. But it is what it is. Today's weekly challenge is no complaining the whole day not me literally judging myself all day and telling myself that i'm a worthless piece of crap because i barely got out of bed right now i think it's just such a wholesome little moment with god if you will he was basically just telling me it's okay it's okay you don't gotta judge yourself don't be too hard on yourself wait to make a quick little to-do list for the day oh my gosh that's so much hopefully we can complete this Ugh. oh my god i put too much Hey, bestie. Eh. I made my coffee way too sweet. Really just coconut milk and freaking creamer, bro. But I'm still gonna drink it, homie. Mm. Look how cute my blemish patches are. They're adorable. I had one of these on my forehead area because that's where I be getting acne out of nowhere. Like, I don't even know what it is, bro. It do be happening to me. I think it's because I'm on the time of the month. Also, already put some Aquaphor on my lips. So, you guys are wondering why my lips look so voluptuous. It's because of that. <laughs> my gua sha that I got from Amazon to sculpt my face because I'm trying to get that snatched jawline. Be sure to wear sunscreen, kids. It's beaming. It's literally 103 degrees outside, guys. Like, come on. Go ahead and get ready off camera. I think I'm gonna curl my hair. I really want to get these curling thingies for like heatless curls and stuff, but I'm kind of scared because I'm not sure how my hair is gonna hold because I have really flat and on the brick of dying type hair. They have them at Urban Outfitters, so I might go to Urban if we have time. If not, I'll probably go tomorrow since I'm planning on filming tomorrow. I want to start doing more daily vlogs because I feel like I was doing them very consistently for a while and then I kind of just stopped. So yeah, I'm bringing back some daily vlogs for you guys because i know y'all like it y'all like to see what's going on in my life my very exotic fun and crazy and wild life literally going to bible study at six guys it's not that deep anyways but yeah I just finished getting ready. I'm wearing this really cute green top from Princess Polly and also this adorable necklace from Princess Polly, which brings me into today's sponsor. Thank you so much, Princess Polly, for sponsoring today's video. Princess Polly offers free express shipping for orders over $50. Literally, you can get your stuff within three to four days, which is absolutely bazonkers. Princess Polly also offers afterpay for all US customers. I also have a discount code, AdrianaXO, for 20% off. I hope you guys enjoy this little haul segment. So excited because I got so many awesome staples for this upcoming summer. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is this adorable New York hat. I'm actually planning on going to New York in September. Ah, I'm so excited. I think it looks so cute. Also, I'm so sorry for the lighting changes. It is currently cloudy outside. It has a really cute bordery of New York and why. I'm obsessed with forest green. I'm obsessed with sage green. I'm obsessed with all greens. It also has this like adjusting strap thing. So if you got a smaller head or a bigger head. The next item that I got was this adorable Bambi baby tee. It is so cute. It's actually on the Disney section of the Princess Polly website. It has Bambi and that little animal thing. I never watched Bambi. I'm a fake fan. I'm so sorry. It has some butterflies and flowers and this really cute Bambi print. I want to say that it's screen printed on. It's very good quality. I really like the material of this shirt. It is 100% cotton. It's a 
the perfect fit. I love baby tees. I think they're so flattering. So definitely would highly recommend this. One of my favorite things that I got and we're just getting started. Love it to smithereens. The next top I got is actually very similar to the top that I'm currently wearing. It is this cream color and it also has the same detailing that the shirt that I'm wearing has, which is this tie thing. If you guys don't want it to be revealing, you guys can actually hold down at it and it could cover your whole midriff. But if you want to be a little shakshu shakshu and show your midriff, you guys totally can. I really love the fabric. I got everything in a US 4 if you're wondering and for pants, I got also a US 4. I also got this striker tank top in the color Sage. It's the sportive and relaxed coat top. I really love the detailing in the back. It's a stitching that's really cool. It has a little basketball. I also got some shorts that match these which are the ones that I'm wearing but they have the same detailing with the like the sportive and relaxed coat print on them and they're black and they're really stretchy and they don't show my bum which is good. I also got this other tank top in a brown color. I think brown is a year-round color. You can wear brown any month, any day, any time. It's just a really pretty color. I also really like that they has lines. I think it adds some texture. Such a staple piece for, for summer slash fall wardrobe. I also got this other tank top. This is the Dream On tank top in white. It says dream in a really cool funky doodle type of vibe. Such a pop of color for like your regular schmegler white top and blue short combo. I also got this really cute crew deck. It is a little bit oversized but that's kind of the point. It says Aspen Rocky Mountain Colorado which is actually a place that I would love to go to. So wearing the shirt is manifesting it into existence baby. I definitely would have sized down if I would have known how oversized it was gonna be because literally fabric is drowning my hands but I genuinely really love this. Gonna be wearing it so much this summer and especially moving into like the back to school season. Woohoo! Moving on to bottoms. I got some really cute cream sweatpants. These are once again the sportive and relaxed co as you guys can tell. I really like that line of clothing I guess you can say. It has a really cool stretch material. Very stretchy. They also have jawstring so if you guys want to like you guys can. It also has this cool little patch in the back. I also really like that the bottom is cuffed. I think they're the perfect oversized sweatpants, especially considering that I am 5'1". So these are short girl approved. I also got these really cute blue denim shorts. These are the Swallow shorts in blue denim. I love them. When I tell you I'm obsessed, I am obsessed with these shorts. I kid you guys not, I will be wearing these all year round because it does not get lower than like 50 degrees here in Arizona. So I'm chill in the fall with these. Love the pockets in the back. I also like the stitching as well. I don't know what this is called, but this. I think it's really cool. I love them to death. You can also roll them up if you guys want to because they are a little bit of a longer short, I guess you can say. I think they look so cute cuffed anyways. They have this same style of short in like three different colors and I want them all. They're so cute. Princess Polly, you did yourself yet again. I also got these other really cute pants. I saw the model wearing these. She looks so bad, dude. So I want it to look really good. There are these black wide-legged jeans. They have a really cute seam. It kind of looks effortless or whatever. Like model off-duty type of vibe. They also have this really cool stitching that's white. So I think it definitely adds a lot of personality to a basic jean, if that makes sense. Really like the pockets in the back as well. They're very big and like, you know, a lot of room in this pocket. Love these. The last piece that I got were these socks. I know this is so random, but I think Princess Paul hands down has some of the cutest accessories. They are these socks with a cute little red heart on them. I thought they were gonna be like baby socks and not fit me, but they fitted perfectly fine. I got like the small size. I think this is the only size they have. I definitely think they're super cute and I'm so excited to wear these with like any basic regular regular outfit and kind of add a little bit of spice. A little bit of mwah, mwah, mwah. Once again, be sure to use my code ADRIANAXO for 20% off of your order of Princess Polly. Now I need to run a Best Buy because my camera is literally going to die. So we need to make sure to get a battery for it. And then I think I'm probably gonna stop at Starbucks or something to edit a little bit. Probably gonna change into these really cute pants that I have. Oh, I'm gonna be bringing the Spanish love deception with me since I'm gonna be going on the bus And I also think I'm gonna be taking the bus downtown to hang out with one of my friends tonight. Let's go besties Getting myself a battery ain't that fun It's so pretty <laughs> Yeah, tell me why. 
These are low-key kind of cute. I kind of need some. Mine broke. What size are these? Eight. I need like a size six. Okay. That was literally the quickest Target trip I've ever done. Kid you guys not, I was in there for like 45 seconds. They didn't have the batteries that I needed, so now I'm going to Best Buy. I walk like 10 minutes, bro. Crossing fingers. You guys have batteries here? I really needed to pick up a new mascara since my mascara is all out. Sure. <laughs> Guys, let me know if this super goop sunscreen is worth it. I've seen it everywhere on TikTok. Some of my favorite YouTubers use this sunscreen as well. But I just don't know if it's worth that price. Like, that is freaking stinking expensive. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think about it. If it's worth it, just let me know. Needed a new eye cream, so I'm gonna be getting this one from the Inky List. This Youth to the People cleanser is one of my faves. Oh my goodness, I love it so, so much. The super whipped moisture cream is also freaking amazing. Me literally thinking these were smoothie drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're looking at me. They opened a new Ulta by where I live. Also, it's wrinkling. It's gonna be so nice having an actual Ulta dedicated to all the makeups and all the beauty products that any girl can dream of. I'm gonna be checking it out right now. I really wanna get a new setting powder or get a spray on sunscreen. I don't know if y'all knew that was a thing, but I sure as heck did it. So I'm gonna be looking for that. Also, I'm gonna put my camera away because I don't want it to get wet. PTYL. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of nice. Good for the animals. Slay. Look at they're so cute. Tell me why I literally just bought these at Target and they were like $15 and these are $5 here. What the actual heck? I'm still in Target. Just kidding. <laughs> on Instagram. Ew, it looks so gross. Ugh, please delete it. It looks so cringy. I'm all like, hmm, muscles. Ew. Anyways, we're talking girly things. <laughs> Quick little shopping spree moment. I was not expecting to go into either of these stores. I kind of just did it spontaneously and I'm not mad about it. I ended up going to Sephora. I got Perfect Strokes Mascara Volume Universal by Wear Beauty. It does wonders for my eyelashes and they make me feel like a bad beat, not gonna lie. I also got this eye cream from Inkyless. It is caffeine induced and it supposedly helps with reducing the appearance of tired eyes, which I got a lot of because I as you guys can tell, I do not get a lot of sleep. So yeah, that's that. I also went to Ulta and I picked up a lot of things. The first thing that I got from Ulta was the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. It supposedly helps with reducing odor and sweat. I literally feel like my biggest fear is that I smell. Like I'm so self-conscious about that because I don't want people to think I'm like stinky, you know what I mean? I also got this makeup setting sunscreen spray from Kula. It is vegan organic. Having a spray can kind of combat the sun's UV rays, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to trying this out. I also got these nails from Glamnetic. This is the Sanrio collab that they had, and I just thought these were so adorable. They were usable press-on nails, so I'm so excited to try these out. I've never tried press-on nails, so I really do hope that they work and that they're not like super inconvenient for me and they fall off every 10 seconds, because that would not be a vibe. Another Sanrio item I got were these hydrogel lip patches. They are plumping, healing, and revitalizing collagen plus 24K 
gold in strawberry flavor and I just thought they were really cute my lips have been a little bit dry lately I've been wanting to find like some type of lip product to use because I do have the Laneige lip sleeping mask it's just not cutting it so hopefully this can like do something I also got this Real Techniques setting brush it's pink and I know that Real Techniques has really good brushes so I was just excited to try it out I also didn't have a brush specifically for like setting powder I also got this away detox shampoo I don't really know what it is but I wanted to try it out I feel like my scalp Loki kind of needs this my scalp has just been so oily I don't know if it's because it's summertime and my hair is just producing extra oils but it really do be crazy it's not a vibe I think my head is just so disgusting even after showering so I wanted to try out this product I've never really read any of the reviews on this brand but I do know that they're kind of like up there with Olaplex looking forward to trying this out and then the last thing I got was a living proof mini dry shampoo I hear Remy Cruz talk about this dry shampoo all the time on her YouTube videos so I figured I would test it out I was using the Beach Babes dry shampoo by Not Your Mother's and kind of just like over it I don't really feel like it does much to help my hair one reduce oils and two smell better so hopefully this does the job especially because I'm gonna be going on a little trip soon and I don't want to have to wash my hair every single day on the trip so hopefully this comes through I'm gonna go shower now because I feel disgusting I literally sweated so much today I was walking a lot I wanted to go to the gym but I realized like my body was just not having it just walking around stressed me out so I didn't want to put further stress on my body and go to the gym and I also was having a lot of fun hanging out with my friend Andrea we had really awesome car conversations anyways I'm gonna go shower and I will talk to you guys after I'm actually gonna try this product let's try it out my battery is flashing Also, obviously can't talk correctly, so forgive me, but I feel like I look freaking ridiculous. I feel like I have brat lips. Like, this is how my lips would look if I was a brat skull. Lumptuous. It's currently 3.11 a.m. I am still working on my video that is going up. The LA in like four hours from now. This is not healthy. Bad time management, Adriana. I am so close to finishing my video. I think I probably got like maybe 20 more minutes of final touches. I'm gonna put my laundry away, but I really am tired, bro. I wanna go brush my teeth and go to sleep, bro. I am freaking tired. I'm gonna do my best to finish up this video. I think I'm still gonna put my laundry away. It's not even that much clothes. Literally, it's just the Princess Polly clothes I was trying on earlier and then I also did a load yesterday that I haven't put away yet But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> this is the best feeling finally So I'm gonna be going to sleep right now because I am so exhausted. I feel like I was so productive today. I had so much fun today too. Just hanging out with you guys. I love you guys. Hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a very productive day or night. God bless and goodbye. <laughs>